Hey, this is Safi Babi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn yet another Beatles fingerstyle arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls. And this time, you asked for Come Together. Um, Come Together is a very unique song, in my opinion, and it was a pleasure to arrange. Um, so first, let me demonstrate how it goes. I'm going to play it for you, and then we're going to break it down, lick by lick, with tabs on the screen and everything, as usual. And uh, you're going to learn exactly how to play this. I'm going to show you uh, different ways you can interpret this and different ways you can play it. So first, without further ado, let me play it. Um, and then we're going to learn it. It goes like this. so on and so forth. Now, uh, as you've seen, this one looks tricky, but um, it's just a couple of tricks, and once you get it under your fingers, you're all ready to go. Uh, this is pretty simple, it's only got three chords, it's got um, E, without even playing E, you just play the E bass, um, unless you want to play this chord, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, it's got B7, Actually, it's got B, and uh, it's not even B7, and it's got A7. Then, uh, in the chorus, it's got C minor, C sharp minor. That's it. It's only four chords. E, B, A7, and C sharp minor. Now, you begin with this very, very successful line. Okay? Now, what you need to know uh, to get this right is that you need to keep in rhythm. Now, I don't know if you've noticed. If you haven't, you can rewind the video and check. I've used my leg to keep time. I've counted with my leg, and that's how I've kept time. Note the leg. Okay? Got it? Uh, my leg helps me. Uh, so you choose whatever helps you, either a metronome or you can use your head. Okay, again, I've used my leg because I'm used to using my leg. But uh, use your body to keep time. That's a very nice trick. And if you see, if you watch other guitar players uh, perform, you will see that most guitar players do use some part of their body to. Um, keep time. So, to successfully play this line, you'll need to keep time somehow. Um, and if you've got perfect timing right down in your ear, then more power to you. Um, now, you do this, okay? Uh, you can play it like this, okay? But I like to slap the bass, okay? The way to do that is to gently pull the string away from the guitar, gently don't pull it uh, with power because then you might break the string or get it out of tune or both first get it out of tune and then break it so just very very gently just pull it away from the guitar you don't need to pull it too far to have it hit the frets okay um, now do this and then you hammer on five, six, and seven. Okay? 
Now you can pick the five, okay? But uh, I think hammering the five on as well creates a more um, streamlined feel, okay? Okay, I like it. You can pick the five if you want. And then you play five on the D string. And then you do this. Okay, I use two fingers on the body of the guitar. And then um, you hammer on seven on the A string. Hammer it on. It's called a hammer on out of nowhere because you don't pick the string before you hammer it on. And then you slide back down to the first fret. Um, now this takes a little bit of practice, okay, to keep this going and to hammer it on right in time and that's why you need your bodily metronome. So, um, when the leg goes down, the hammer-on goes down. That's my personal trick. That's the way I do it. That's the way I pull it off. Um, you find your own way to keep time, as I said, but this is the line. Now, uh, then it repeats itself four times. Now, let's play it slowly. Okay? Now, if you want to keep the drumming going, you will have to play the first uh, bass, the first E bass again, by, by picking it. Now, what do I mean? I mean this. Okay? If you want to keep the drumming going right up to the bass note. Okay, got it? But if you want to do this, you'll have to mute all the rest of the strings. So when you do this, just rest your fingers on the strings so it mutes them. Okay? This is a nice effect as well. Got it? That's another way to play it if you want to give it a bit more um, a bit more twang to it. I like the slap. So I just uh, stop the drumming when I slide down and get my thing my hand back on the strings. Okay, and then I'm ready to pick again. Okay, now that we're done with this line, uh, the rest of the rest of the song is pretty easy. Now it goes like this. Okay, it's uh, fourths. It's just uh, strings uh, three and four together, the G and D strings together. Now you can play it like this. Okay, but um, I find it a bit empty, so I just harmonized it with the uh, D string. So it's uh, 12, 12, 12, 12, 9, 7, 9, that's all. Now, and you'll want to bend the last uh, 12 a bit. give it um, a more vocal feel. Um, now the bass notes uh, fall on the beat. Okay? So it's bass. Um, 
if you find this difficult, play it really, really slowly. Bass, bass. Okay, just practice this little line until you get it down. Um, so, and you can also slide up to uh, the 12 or to the 9. The interpretation is really up to you here because. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever you like uh, with this line because it's really really simple so you can embellish it um, to your heart's content just make sure that you keep it simple because it's supposed to be simple it's supposed to be a very um, very raw beat it's supposed to be very um, very upfront so don't um, don't go do something like this or something like this. This is not the song. This is taking the song into a completely different direction. Um, keep it, okay, like this. Just embellish it with slides or hammer-ons or whatever you want as long as you don't take it out of context. Now, um, B. Okay, um, I like to do a B7, okay, um, just B on 7th fret um, without the pinky, but you can do this, and just take the pinky when you need to put it here, uh, because it's this line, it's, okay, and the um, the B or B7 chord just harmonize the this note. Um, now, uh, again, you can keep it simple. Uh, again, the bass falls on the beat. Nice of you to join us. And if you wanna. Um, with it and just add the pinky on 9 on the D string, uh, on the G string, excuse me, um, before um, before you actually need to put it because it's just, the melody is just the B string, B string, B string, G string on 9, B string again, that's the melody, but you can play with it. Okay. There's no much room for play, but you can if you want. Um, I harmonize with strings B, G, and D. That's my choice. You can uh, you can choose not to and just play like this. Okay, it works as well. Or you can harmonize with one string instead of instead of uh, two. Instead of. Okay, um, and have more lean feel to it. Okay, now the way I mute the the strings, the the way I mute the note is just to stop the pressure. I just take my fingers off the strings for just a millisecond. Okay, um, I just I press the strings down. And then I just let it go and repress it. Okay? For a more staccato feel. Instead of ha having all the strings uh, pressed all the time, and then it will sound like this. You see? Now the original song has a staccato feel to it. <clears throat> so I wanted to keep that in the arrangement, so I just take the pressure off every time I pick. Okay? 
Uh, that's my choice. You can choose not to. Then A7. Now this time A7 has the pinky on 8 on the B string. Now we pick, again, we pick the B string, G string, and D strings with the bass. 5 on E, which is an A bass. Now Okay, uh, this is the line, so it's um, pinky three times, then take the pinky off. Then again. Then pinky, pinky, no pinky, pinky. Okay, it's eight, 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 five, eight, 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 five, eight, eight, five, eight. That's the, uh, that's the melody. Now. Um, I like to uh, bend the string with my pinky when I um, in the middle of the line. Okay, just the pinky. Got it. Um, that might be a bit difficult at first if you're not used to using your pinky or only your pinky. Uh, inside a chord, but it's a nice exercise. Okay. Okay. Ta -ta, bend five, eight, eight, bend five. Okay. And then um, I slide the bass down and begin again okay now you do all this again second time around um, I sometimes like to uh, exchange this into this okay it doesn't sound as good as this but it refreshes the ear a bit because it's a different sound and then I go back to this. So it's just um, E7, um, E7 sharp 9 um, and it's this. Um, if you're not familiar with this chord, it's from bottom to top, you don't play the uh, the E string, or you can play the E string, but it, um, it's preferable if you um, mute it with the pinky, just touch it. You don't play the E string. On the B string it's 8 with your pinky, then it's um, 7 on the G string, 6 on the D string, 7 on the A string, and then open E bass. Okay, uh, it's a funky chord. Okay, um, use it in funk. Now, um, where were we? Oh yeah, um, this. Okay, it's another way to play it. Doesn't sound as good, but then you can return to it and, and that way you don't bore the ear with uh, repeating this a thousand times. So, um, I just, again, play the B, G, and D strings along with the E bass. And then I bend the last one. Then I play open E string. Then the G string on 7. Then the E string again. Okay? That's a different way you can play this. Now, um, after you play, after you get to the uh, to the A chord, the A7 chord, the second time, okay, you play this. You slide your second finger to five on the B string. You play it twice, and then with your pinky and first finger. 
Actually, it's just with your pinky because your first finger is going to bar at the fourth fret. So you play seven on the E string with your pinky. And then you bar the fourth fret and you form a C sharp minor chord. Okay? And then you play the C sharp bass on four once. And then you play the C sharp minor chord five times, okay? Got it? Come together. Got it? That's the way to play it. Now, B6, like this. Um, Imagine you're playing an E major 7 chord, okay? It, it's shaped like D7 on 9, only with a B bass, thus turning this into B6. Okay? Uh, it's just this chord played like this without the A string, and the pinky goes... Um, to 9 on the B string. Um, if I confused you, here's the tab. S uh, 7, 9, 8, 9. You don't play the A string. 7 on the E string. Okay? And again, you play B, G, and D strings. Okay? And you play it tw uh, uh, twice. You play it once uh, with the B bass. And then you take this back two frets to A6. And then you pull the pinky off. Okay? And then you play the G and D strings. So it sounds like this. Now it begins to make sense. It's right now. Okay, come together right now. Got it? And then you either play the A octave, which is 5 on the E string and 7 on the D string, twice, and then um, um, you push it, you slide it to B, or you can add the G string. I like to add the G string uh, for that major chord feel. Okay? Before we finish this whole um, lick again. Okay? Why am I playing an E major 7? B bass. Got it? And then slide uh, your second finger to six on the G string. And then five on the B string with your first finger twice. And you begin again. Over me. Got it? So the whole chorus. No, let's play the whole thing from the top slowly. Um, slap. Hammer on. Drum. Hammer on from nowhere. Slide. Got it? Four times. Then 12, 12, 12, 12, 9, 7, 9. Four times. Then, or, or this. And then, B, or B7. With 9, right there at the end. 9, on the G string. This again. A7. 8, 8, 8, 5, 8, 8, 8, 5, 8, 8, 5, 8. 
slide to five, seven, C sharp minor. Bass first. B6, A6, A, A, B. Slide to six, five, five. Begin again. And you're done. Um, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so. And um, you can go to the website, download the tab, uh, give something back if you want. There's a donation button over there. I appreciate any donation whatsoever. Um, and I think thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. Go download the tab uh, from the website. Um, get it on your fingers, practice this, um, and uh, please, if you enjoyed this lesson, please share it, share it on your Facebook page, uh, share it on your YouTube page, share it whenever, uh, add it to your playlist. Um, anyway, so people can get to this lesson and learn this piece. So thank you, thank you very much for watching. Now go practice this, get it under your fingers, play it, um, uh, and enjoy it. Have fun. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.